This is code.org. That's who we're working on. In JavaScript, that's the name of the programming language we're using. Although the S should be capitalized, that's interesting, but okay. In JavaScript, a for loop is a short way of writing a while loop. You'll recognize that it has the same three parts. Create a variable and assign it, which means give it, a value, a starting value. Check its value every time through the loop. Change the value of the variable. Check it, its value every time through the loop. Okay, so let's start here. Create a variable and assign it a starting value. All right, so I'm going to hide this for a sec. My variable is going to be creatively called num, N-U-M, and I'm going to start it at zero. Okay, check its value every time through the loop. Okay, so they want us to use a while loop. So I'm going to go to control. We have a four right here, this time while. And uh, in our while loop, I'm going to put something to check its value. So I'll say while num is less than 10. And the way I'm picking that is I'm just looking at this. And so since they're doing I, I'll do num less than 10. And then it says change the value of the variable. Okay. And so if I wanted to do what they are, they're doing I++. plus plus. You can do the same thing here. So I could do... Uh, num equals num plus one, which is the exact same thing as pl num plus plus or i plus plus. I can also just do num plus plus. Boom. Now these two things will function the identically. So here's i, here's num. And what they're saying is it's shorthand. You can just throw all this junk up here for a for loop. Whereas for the our loop, our wall loop with the same features takes all these lines. Okay. So let me hit add here. And we can just go through it. It will race through that, and then it will race through mine. You can see none ticking up. So same function. All right. Read the line. Read the program and run it to see if it works. Yep, it does. Change the program so that it prints the number 0 to 90. You can turn up the clicker. Okay, or the speed. All right, so now they want us to print out the number. So I need to go to... Oh, but there it is. I'm missing it. Council log. Yep, is under variables. So in, I'm going to put that right here. And what am I going to print out? I'm going to delete all that because I'm just going to print out num. And now it will just print 1 to 10. Or ah, it's actually not going to do that. It's going to print to 9 because it has to be less than 10. So if I want to print 1 to 99, I'm going to do 100. Boom. Cool. And they're just pointing out how this is shorthand, right? We can keep all of this in this like neat little one line rather than having num var num declared here and then num plus plus here and then less than here, right? I plus plus var i less than. So for loops are super handy. Onward.